Welcome to this introductory video series on BioRad's BR.io cloud platform for laboratory instruments. BR.io is a cloud platform that seamlessly integrates with the CFX Opus real-time PCR system to provide workflows for the generation and management of experimental data. Through cloud integration, you can remotely design experiments for CFX Opus systems, monitor those instruments, and analyze and manage the data generated. In this video, we will walk you through account creation and the main functions of the BR.io cloud platform. Now, let's sign up for a BR.io account. First, type BR.io into the address bar and navigate to the site using a Chrome or Safari web browser. This is the front page of the website. It contains information about the platform. Click the Sign Up link in the upper right corner to create a new account. You may return to this page later by navigating to br.io while you are logged out of the site. Before continuing, you should read the terms of use, which can be found in the footer at the bottom of the page. Enter your full name in the first box. Then enter the email address that you wish to use for the account. This will be your username. Next, enter the password that you wish to use for the account. The BR.io cloud platform requires the use of a strong password that must be at least eight characters long and include a lower and uppercase letter, number, and special character. Don't worry, there is a password validator to help guide you in choosing a strong password. The check marks will indicate whether your password meets the criteria. Once you have entered the required information, Click the green button that says Create Account in the middle of the page. Now you should have successfully created an account and be logged into the software on the home page. This is the page you will see upon logging into the BR.io cloud platform. As a new user, this page contains empty recent files and recent instruments sections like you see here. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to show you what this account will look like with some files added and instruments linked. At the top of the page, you will find a header with a toolbar, which along with the main navigation panel on the left, are accessible from every page within the BR.io cloud platform. On the toolbar, you have buttons for uploading files, the user menu, and help and feedback. Also, you can click the BioRad logo to quickly access the main BioRad website. The user menu displays the name of the logged in user, and allows you to edit your user profile and change your password. This is also where you log out of the site. The Help and Feedback menu allows you to access the documentation for the software and also contact support. Click Help for this page to view the help topic for the current page you are on or click Help Center to view all of the software documentation. Finally, if you need additional help or want to submit feedback or a feature request, you can also contact support from the menu. Now let's look at the main navigation panel for the site. You can click the expand button below the icons to reveal the labels. The main pages are Home, Create, Files, and Instruments. Let's look at each one. First, we'll look at the Home page. This page enables you to quickly access files that you recently used, and it allows you to see the status of your instruments. On the right, the explorebr.io panel contains helpful information for new users. The links will take you to help topics which we are covering in this video series. You may also minimize the panel when you no longer need it. Now let's look at the Create page. This page is where you will set up experiments for the CFX Opus systems that are linked to your account. Clicking the CFX Real-Time PCR link on the left allows you to create a run for the instrument, and clicking the Manage CFX Protocols link on the right will allow you to manage a set of protocols used to create those runs. We will cover those processes in upcoming videos. Now let's move on to the Files page. Here you can access all the files in your BR.io cloud platform account. This page has a list view that displays the name of the file, date of last modification, 
and file type. Files can be renamed or deleted using the menu on the right side. Finally, let's look at the Instruments page. Here, you are able to view a list of the CFX Opus systems linked to your BR.io account. We will cover the process of linking your CFX Opus system in the next video. The page displays the name, model, and current status of the instrument, such as offline, idle, running, or in an error state. The name can be set directly on the instrument by the admin account. If the instrument is currently running, you will see the time remaining until completion. To view more information about the instrument, such as the serial number, expand the instrument row by clicking the button on the right. When the instrument is running, this yellow box on the left displays information about the status of the run. This information is only displayed for your own runs. With that, we are finished with this first introductory video on the BR.io cloud platform. Watch the rest of the videos to learn how to link a CFX Opus system, create a protocol and design an experiment, and analyze the data post-run. Thank you for watching.